I'm going to play a couple of moments from the song Bridges in the Sky that we, Dream Theater, play live. And then uh, yap about them a little bit because I want to relate the, oh, just kind of play it world to the, well, intellectually, if you understand it a little bit, it helps the preparation to be able to play it a little better, which is how I remember everything that I have to remember, which is a lot. All right, let me, let me just play it. Change the microphone input, and there you go. That mic is great. Okay. Okay, so you notice when I went into the second part to do the little buzz roll on the mini snare, I went, uh-oh, I had to stop because the snare was off. So in the earlier part of the song, I need this as a high tom. That was its original design. But when I did drum clinics, I had this in the center, and I would just turn it on and off you know, when I needed to to double as a mini snare or as a high tom. I have to get this snare drum switch back on before we do that middle section in the song, the instrumental. So I have to speak it. I have to say, when I'm in a previous part, I have to say, all right, hit the cymbal, go here, turn the snare on. Hit the cymbal, go here, turn the snare on. I have to keep repeating it so it's on before I get to the part. Otherwise, I'm trying to play that, and I have done it with one hand going, oh, my God. And I flip it off, and I hit my finger on the thing, and I miss it, and I whack my knuckle on the hi-hat. No kidding. Because in the heat of the moment, those are the things that happen. You know, and they happen to me, too. So I have to, I have to speak those commands, and it wouldn't be such a chore if I hadn't already put all that information in, but it's from the other kit. And for whatever reason... My body, I don't think anybody's really, but I try to do it, imprints commands. Like I imprint, okay, turn to the right, go this way, go up the kit, switch. Because if I don't say stuff like that, my balance goes off and then I go out of time, which is not desired by my bandmates. They like that things are where they want them to be and comfortable and consistently each night. Makes them comfortable. So I usually adjust this timekeeping job with the people I'm working with. You know, I can skip back to examples of tempo changing. You know, accelerandos, decelerandos. Back in the days with Vi, I would literally have an iPod metronome and just get the, get the tempo of the song, you know, turn it off, play, and then have another one. I'd have to, like, poke it ahead, <laughs> get the tempo in order to, why would I do this? Uh, because he was comfortable when I matched his delay settings. You know what I'm saying? So that's important to a lot of guitarists is their delay settings going in time. Um, with Extreme, I had to go off of a Nuno's delay setting for Am I Ever Gonna Change? So that was like my external source that I would have to quickly lock into. So it doesn't matter really what it is. It's about the music, right? And sometimes it's more challenging than others to do that if you choose that route and if, if the band decides on the result. Well, that's the real point of all of this is look at I'm playing, I have to remember these things. I'm speaking 
turn the snare on, as if it's, it's no different than move the left foot and hit, do this double bass move. It is absolutely no different, but it's hard to break all habits. In order to change, it has to be a habit to change. You have to make change a habit to change. You can't change what you are, right? But you change who you become. That's for sure. I, I always want to do that. I always want to keep evolving who I am. It has to be a habit. Breaking old habits is wickedly difficult. So I'm sharing this. So in case anyone does go through this, you know, I can relate. You can relate to me. We're all the same that way. I just happen to... I just happen to not want to take it one day and find rules outside of drummers telling me things that to do or not to do. I mean, I got lucky. I had a teacher that would bring in anatomy books when I was in elementary school and make a claim and say this about technique, but he wouldn't just say it. He'd say, I want to show you the truth of it. Let's look at it to see that this is the right thing. And I would always buy in because he made a claim and backed it up. That's how to, that's if someone speaks words. It doesn't mean it's the truth. Doesn't mean it's right at all, but when you show that it's right, it's really cool. So my teacher did that for me, uh, and it stuck with me, and then I wrote these things. So speaking the commands is very the intellectual side, understanding, you know, it is what it is. And then getting into all the details, of course, uh, this is the latest one where I go through all the stickings and everything. But back to the original point here on Bridges in the Sky, um, there's these moments, and I have to put new things in it. It looks easy, just playing like, okay, I'll flip the snare on and off, but. My body is still that person from over there, and I want to change that person to evolve into this and these, uh, you know, this current tour where we have been playing that, and I have been making the switch, but not successfully all the time. So, and yes, my knuckles have suffered from that hi-hat. <laughs> I used to either like, bang! It doesn't feel great. All right, that's that.